Praise be to God, our Heavenly Father. For today's meditation, we will be focusing on the verses from the book of Esther, chapter 4, 15 and 16. Then Esther sent this reply to Mordecai, Go gather together all the Jews who are in Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. I and my attendants will fast as you do. When this is done, I will go to the king, even though it is against the law, and if I perish, I perish. Esther is the second of the two books in the Bible to be named after a woman. She was an orphan adopted by her cousin, chosen to prepare to be queen, selected and crowned as one. She was asked to keep her identity a secret from her husband, not once letting her guard down. And then she was expected to give it all up and jeopardize her life even to fulfill her greater calling of saving her people. Few qualities of Esther that stand out prominently are her courage, her preparedness and her faith in the face of uncertainty. Courage She showed exceptional courage at various points. Here was a young woman called to prepare to be queen to a king who was notorious for deposing the earlier queen in his drunken state. She was expected to keep her identity a secret, which she did. She was asked to go to him with a plea without being summoned, and she did. When this is done, I will go to the king, even though it is against the law, and if I perish, I perish, she said. Preparedness Like every good leader, Esther showed great preparedness when it came to her dealing. Striking examples being her rigorous beauty regime to be chosen as queen, her wisdom to ensure that Mordecai's action of saving the king from his adversaries was recorded, her urge to fast and pray to God and prepare herself as well before she presented herself to the king to ask to save her people, her carefully thought out strategy of exposing Haman. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day, I and my attendants will fast as you do. Faith in God's Plan Here is an orphan girl who took the bull by its horns. No doubt she had the courage to face adversity and the wisdom to work hard and the zeal to be prepared. But what we can see most prominently is her faith in God's plan for her. Even in the face of uncertainty, her faith was rewarded. Esther chapter 5 verses 2. It was so, when the king saw Esther, the queen standing in the court, that she obtained favor in his sight. And the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. So Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter. May the good Lord extend the gold scepter to us and make us instruments of change. Lord, our Heavenly Father, thank you for being our comforter, protector and guide. I thank you for the times that you reveal your plans to us and for the assurance of your grace in times when your plans are not clear to us. Amen.